At the beginning of World War II, Marines attended boot camp at Paris Island, South Carolina, and San Diego, California for seven weeks before moving on to advanced schools. Recruits trained in military basics of rifle marksmanship, customs and courtesies, physical fitness, close order drill, and unarmed combat. After the Pearl Harbor attack, the Marine Corps had to rapidly change to adjust to a wartime environment. The first challenge the Marine Corps faced was housing for the recruits. Because of the five to ten times increase in recruits from the monthly average of 2000, the East Coast population was denser than the West and several hundred boots were flown from Paris Island to San Diego to keep both facilities at max capacity. Tents were erected at San Diego to house recruits, while Paris Island built barracks to increase its living capacity by 11,000 in 1942. Secondly, the Marine Corps struggled logistically to find enough time and drill instructors to teach. Boots were forced through a faster six-week, then five-week training cycle until March 1st when boot camp returned to seven-week cycle. Drill instructors were recycled to new platoons every few weeks. Additionally, officer candidates, officers awaiting orders, and even graduating recruits instructed preceding cycles to help as the last few weeks of rifle training and qualifications was conducted at the range with other instructors. Because of overcrowding, Paris Island used rifle ranges at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, and Quantico, Virginia, where officer candidates trained. Separately, Marines were now training to fight the Japanese. Physical training only increased from 4 to 14 hours on paper, but recruits actually exercised at least one hour a day. Recruits practiced judo, boxing, bayonet, and body hardening drills constantly. This training was extremely demanding as the Marine Corps also introduced and utilized Japanese combat methods for close quarters. For the first time ever, blacks were allowed in the Marine Corps starting June 25, 1941 with President Roosevelt's executive order. African Americans were trained at Montford Point, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina because the Marine Corps refused to integrate training. The first men arrived in August 1942 and were trained as drill instructors to replace the white ones at Montford Point. At this time, Paris Island, San Diego, and Montford Point all trained on eight-week schedules. Despite segregation, black Marines served in every Pacific battle starting with Saipan in 1944. Training for the Marines during World War II was rigorous and regimented. Most of the tactics and accommodations made were all new during the war. The Marine Corps had to stretch itself thin to train and expand as a fighting force. These changes kept the Marine Corps a successful and feared organization in World War II while expanding from 18,000 in 1940 to 70,000 before Pearl Harbor and half a million by the war's end. As the challenges of this war grow more intense, the armed forces must expand to meet them. There can be no resting on our laurels. We of the Marine Corps have seen our personnel increase markedly during the 168th year of our history. But no matter what our size may be or what it may become, we shall remain a relatively compact force, highly trained to perform those duties that have always been ours to achieve.